The products featured in this video can be purchased from Freetronics. Freetronics designs, sell and support a wide range of flexible, easy to use modules and boards, making it easy for you to build your own electronic projects. Visit www.freetronics.com to purchase your Arduino compatible products today. Hi, it's Nick from Hobby Electronics and in this video we'll be taking a look at the Pi 11 board from Freetronics. The Pi 11 board is an Arduino compatible shield for your Raspberry Pi. The two boards communicate with each other via the serial connection passed through the Raspberry Pi header pins. As the Pi 11 shield is Arduino compatible, you can use all of your existing shields with it. The Pi 11 board is both compatible with your Raspberry Pi Model B and B+. As the first 26 pins on the Raspberry Pi Model B Plus are the same as on the Model B. You can either power the setup via the USB power jack on the Pi or by the power jack on the Pi 11 board. To test out the Pi 11 board, we'll be needing a suitable power supply, an SD card with Raspbian image on it, Raspberry Pi, a breadboard, a 270 ohm resistor and an LED, along with two male to male jumper wires. To begin with, I'm going to insert the LED into the breadboard, then connect one leg of the resistor to the negative leg of the LED. We can then connect the jumper wire to the positive leg of the LED and one to the remaining leg of the resistor. After attaching the shield to the Raspberry Pi's GPIO pins, I'm going to insert the SD card, connect my Pi to a network that has internet access, and power it up via the micro USB jack or via the jack on the Pi 11 board. We can then log into our Raspberry Pi and get a copy of the Pi 11 installer script. We can then run that script with this command and reboot your Pi. Then install the Arduino IDE with this command. Then begin a new graphical user session and launch the Arduino IDE. We can then open up the Blink example sketch and change the LED pin to equal 4. Select the appropriate serial port and board. Then upload the sketch. Then after connecting the jump wire that goes to the positive side of the LED to pin 4 and the resistor to ground, you should then be able to see the LED blink. 